All right, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to take this plow and I got this old deck lift arm that I'm going to cut up and then I'm going to extend this plow out about six inches and that'll allow me to have more clearance when I lift it up on the back of my garden tractor here. It's hard to see, but... It'll give me a lot more clearance in the back, so I got this plow and I was told that it would work on this wheel horse and it does. It's just it gets a lot of um, it'll certain spots will grab the grass and take chunks out and this will give me a lot more clearance and a lot more uh, flexibility to go uh, deeper or higher just to get it out of the way of whatever so. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up here and then uh, get this thing started, so.
All right, so this is what we got. It turned out pretty good. So to clean it up, I'll probably hit it with some uh, high performance paint real quick, just to get it covered. So that's it, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all cleaned up and mounted on. All right, here's the finished product. And obviously the whole thing didn't get restored here, but yeah, we just made an extension. It's about uh, six inches long here, six and a quarter actually. And um, I just, like I said before, I just ended up taking the mower deck lift off of an old wheel horse tractor that was the bar, the lift bar itself was just beat up. The, the pivot on it, the pivot bar was um, itself was, the weld was broke on it. And, you know, I was pretty good with uh, as far as what I needed on the other stuff. I can't really see it there, but um, yeah, it turned out pretty good. And gonna be giving it a test here. But I ended up uh, welding this joint all the way around and then maybe like a quarter to three eighths of an inch on the inside of each half. Cause there's these two bars that run across. And then uh, I put a brace on the top and then a brace on the bottom, welded those. So it should should uh, hold up. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. You know, as long as you're getting good fusion, which I am, then uh, you know you don't have any. Typically, don't have any problems. Oh, a little more of the side. It's kind of hard to see being all black like that, but yeah. So um, I hit it with some high performance fast dry rust oleum paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that time to dry. And then I will put it on the tractor and I'll get some video up of how well it does. <laughs> so, alright guys, I appreciate you watching if you watched all the way through the video. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I got a lot more videos coming up in the works. Got a bunch of projects going on. So, yeah, just um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Like the channel, hit that alert bell. And, uh... You know, if, if you know other people that like to watch this kind of stuff, please go ahead and share it with them on social networking. Family and friends, stuff like that. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Come on back and, uh, you know, just stay tuned for a lot more videos. All right, thanks a lot. Take care.